Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, we have a Rose Girls haul here today. I've had this for a couple weeks and so I just really need to film it and put these away because sitting in a box is not doing them any good. So I wanted to do a little video and chat about what I picked up. I haven't picked up Rose Girls or Vendor Wax, honestly, in general in a long time and honestly just because I'm trying to go through my Scentsy stash but I was craving some coffee scents so I picked up some of those I picked up some others that sounded good I really tried to keep it to what I felt was in my wheelhouse and not like oh that sounds kind of good I should try it sort of deal so let's just get into it the sample I got was mermaid kisses the notes are Honeydew, pink apple punch, aloe, and a touch of sandalwood. I feel like I've had something similar. It was called mermaid hair. Oh, maybe it wasn't similar. This is actually pretty nice. It's like pink apple punch, but fresher, like not as sweet. Interesting. Apologies if you can hear voices as well. I have the deck door open and it's a little loud outside, so <laughs> Pro I don't know. I was gonna say I probably wouldn't do this till next summer, but maybe even next spring or even like after winter time. It's not as summery as I was thinking, but I'm like in fall mode, so I don't know that it's right now <laughs> time for that. Uh, okay, next I got vanilla crunch donuts. This is just a really nice vanilla scent. I have this right now, but it's from 2021. Oh yeah, it's good. It's so good. I love that scent. I really like it mixed with sugar cookie dough, but I could mix it with like any sugar cookie scent, honestly, or just do it by itself. <laughs> Let's be real. Apple fritter. I was thinking when I got this one that I was like, oh, I love this one. But I think I really love apple fritter donut holes, but this is also good. But mixed with donut holes, it's even better. Oh, yeah. It's that right there, apple fritter, is getting me in the mood for fall. It's literally a spiced apple scent. <laughs> so I have had this one in the past, or at least mixed with donut holes, so I knew I kind of liked it. Next is strawberry pound cake. I'm hoping this is super authentic to Bath and Body Works. This is the good strawberry pound cake. Some vendors you buy from, they use a weird strawberry and it's not the same. The one thing bothers me about Vendor Wax is the crinkly bags. I feel like the audio is going to be terrible. Apologies in advance. Oh, that's good. I'm excited about that. Can you ever go wrong with strawberry pound cake? Like I said, some vendors have some weird strawberry, but that one was good. This one stepped a toe outside of my comfort zone on. It's Luma Lee. It's Luna, the Scentsy type, plus pink sugar, marshmallow, and driftwood. So that caught my attention. It's kind of a fun, like, green color. That caught my attention with the notes. Oh, it's different. Oh, it's really different. I'm trying to, like, gather. it. I think the Luna and the Marshmallow are making it really sweet. But then that Driftwood is giving it, like, a completely different vibe. It's interesting. I don't hate it. <laughs> At first, it really caught me off guard because I was like, it's sweet, like really, really sweet, but woody. It's kind of like a take on a toasted marshmallow, almost like a bonfire. It's like woody and sweet, but it's not like bakery toasted marshmallow. It's just like sweet and woody. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. That's actually pretty good. I feel like I could do that. Um, like this would be, I could do this any season almost, seasonless, if you will. Uh, let's get into the more bakery coffee type blend. So I got a Dunk My Donut, and this isn't necessarily coffee, but I feel like this could easily be a good morning melt. Pretty sure I've had this in the past. This literally just smells like cinnamon sugar. Perfect for the morning. 
perfect to blend. I could blend it with that vanilla crunch donuts. I could blend it with apple fritter and get some closer to the apple fritter donut holes. So yeah, I don't know if that has a hint of coffee in it. it doesn't smell like it to my nose, but I don't know what the exact notes are. I think the rest are coffee. Uh, we have Starbeans Cafe, Starbeans Cafe and Poochie's Pup Pops. I'm not 100% positive on that. Vanilla cake pops, peanut butter, graham crackers, pretzels, espresso, vanilla, crunch donuts, and vanilla bean oil. A lot going on here. I really like Starbeans Cafe. I'm nervous about whatever else Poochie's Pup Pops is. Smells like Starbeans Cafe. Smells like, uh, maybe there's more peanut butter in the bag, but not in the individual cues. I feel like it smells like Starbucks Cafe. It just smells like a nice espresso, um, not straight up espresso, like espresso blended with a lot of vanilla. So my kind of espresso. <laughs> and then I got another espresso blend, which is Koopa Claus needs a latte, espresso baked zucchini bread, royal sugar cookies, and Gilligan's brew. Also have had this one in the past and am a fan. This one's a little bit, I think because it has that zucchini bread, it has that note in it. But I think blended with the espresso beans, it's good. I don't love the big zucchini bread on its own. Like it's not my favorite. And I feel like you can tell it's in here, but when it's melting and the espresso starts to blend and all that, it's not so like, oh, zucchini bread. Like I feel like that note's not as prominent. And then I got up, I got straight up uh, espresso beans. A little bit nervous um she has an absolute coffee and that's a little bit too intense for me this espresso beans isn't so intense it's intense ish but it's not as intense as the absolute coffee that one is like gas station coffee on steroids it's insanity this one just smells like straight up espresso beans like literal coffee beans we just got a coffee grinder and i feel like that's like that also, oh, I got a sample bag. I was like, where did I put it? I got a cookie land sampler because um, even though I said I was trying to control myself, I was like, who loves cookie land? <laughs> I do. I should get the sampler. So we're just going to go for it. There looks like there's a lot in here. We have campfire coffee in cookie land, absolute coffee, marshmallow fireside, confetti cake, toffee butter shots, pretzels, and cookies. I'm not going to read that for everyone if it's listed because that is the cookie land, the last part, the confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. So lots of different shapes in here as well. This is good. This is the distinct marshmallow fireside note. I am pretty sure I've had that before in a blend. Honestly, I mostly get the Marshmallow Fireside, but still a fan. I need to separate these in the seasons for sure. Next, we have Pistachio plus Cupcakes at Tiffany's plus Cookie Land. This could be interesting. The color is really throwing me off. Definite pistachio. Like almond extract-esque pistachio. Not getting a ton of cupcakes at Tiffany's like I thought it would. I think it's there because it's like not just pistachio, it's like pistachio and cake. Interesting. Out of the two, not my favorite. Not horrible, but definitely wouldn't want like 100 cubes in that. C is for cookie. This is going to be interesting. Chocolate chip cookies, donuts, bread, and cookie land. And sugar cookies? It has one extra note at the end. No. No. It has different notes. Oh, okay. They're just listed in a funny order and it says sugar cookies. Who typed this label? <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies, donuts, bread, and cookie land. This literally smells like all those things individually, but also combined. Like it smells like chocolate chip cookies when they first got a whiff. It smelled like donuts. Oh, that's unique. That's kind of weird how it like 
it's all those things. <laughs> like you can pick them all out. Definitely chocolate chip cookies and donuts. Cookie Land's obviously the blender. I did it all for the cookie. Lemon curd filled sugar cookies and uh, cream cheese frosting in Cookie Land. This one's like yellow. This one I have high hopes for. I'm on a lemon kick. This is good. My lemon kick's kind of over because it's fall. <laughs> well, in my head, it's fall. Um, but this is a really good one. Would entertain getting more of that. Bum Bum, or is it Boom Boom in Cookie Land? It's the Boom Boom type plus Cookie Land. A little bit nervous for this, honestly. I feel like those would be weird blended together. Don't hate it surprisingly works well. I thought it'd be really beachy and it's not. It's definitely fresh, but there's a lot of bakery still. I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of going through these fast because I've already taken out five and it looks like I haven't even made a dent in this bag. Cider Donut Cookie Land. Shut your mouth. This better be good. <laughs> I love cider. Oh, cider donut. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. My fall heart says a full bag of this one. <laughs> I like that a lot. I love me a cider donut. Okay, that's gotta go in the fall pile. Slurping in cookie land. Nervous about this one. Cereal killer, Rice Krispie treats, sugar milk, and cookie land and donut holes. Not awful definitely smells like or reminds me of um what cereal killer is like the like a fruit loops that type of cereal apple jacks <laughs> rice krispies like um not rice krispies but the fruity pebbles there we go like those types but they almost have a little bit like amped up on the lemon and i know i'm into lemon but there's like a weird, something that puts me off about it. But it smells dead on to like the cereal. So not the worst. Was expecting worse, to be honest. Maybe it's because it's blended with Cookie Land. Okay. Pink Peppermint Cookie Land. Exciting. I do like peppermint. Pink Sugar Peppermint and Cookie Land. Cute colors. Barbie-esque. Yep, 100%. Winter time, but 100%. That's really good. Sugar daddies in cookie land. <laughs> sugar milk, warm apple pie, frosted sugar cookies, and cookie land. Another Barbie vibes one. I think the warm apple pie... <laughs> is throwing me off. It kind of smells cool. I don't know if it's just because it's next to the peppermint, but it kind of almost has a cool vibe running through it. But then it's like warm apple pie in the background. I don't know if this one just needs to like sit by itself for a minute because I feel like it could be good, but that's just a weird note running through it. That's like cool. I'm picking more warm apple pie up on that one. I don't know if that was just sitting next to the peppermint one and it got a little bit peppermint strong, so it could probably do that. This one needs to sit by itself for a minute. Cinnamon waffle cone cookie land. Like the colors on that one. I like to take them out because I feel like I get a better like, what does it actually smell like? This one I get a lot of cinnamon. Don't know that I would say waffle cone specifically. <laughs> it smells bready almost like cinnamon bread. Interesting. I wish that would have been like cinnamon apple waffle cone. <laughs> I feel like the red makes me feel like it should be apple. Um, we have a cloud, which reminds me of Ariana Grande cloud. And I don't, I just can't get that out of my head, but the notes are jumping on cookie land clouds. I 
don't know if this has been a thing. I've definitely had jumping on clouds before and I've had a couple versions of that. Cotton candy frosting, cup of cake, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, vanilla crunch donuts, and cookie land. Sounds like it's right up my alley. This is definitely right up my alley. This is good. It's definitely giving me cotton candy vibes. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Very sweet. I'm nervous that that could almost be too sweet. It's very sugary. Very much sugar sweet. Gotta make more room. Okay, we have like four left. This is a big sampler. This was worth the money for sure. Blueberry praline cookie land. Not a huge blueberry fan, but coming around to it. Not bad. Definitely blueberry kind of a blueberry caramel vibe would prefer a caramel apple <laughs> not bad okay we have banana splits in cookie land also nervous about this one this smells like fresh cut grass almost is that just my hand i think it's my hand i think it's the blueberry that is cream mowing. <laughs> what the heck? It smells like banana after I smell it a few times. But initially it literally smells like fresh cut grass. And then it turns into like banana and like um, fruity, something fruity like a strawberry or something. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Not sure about that. Okay. We have Serendipity Cotton Candy Frosting Gilligan's Brew Cookie Land. This could be good. Yeah, this is very summery for sure. But Serendipity and Gilligan's Brew, in my opinion, are kind of summery. Definitely summer. It, it's a lighter scent. I feel like the Cookie Land is the only thing like grounding it, like making it even remotely like not so light you can't smell it i don't know if that made sense but i feel like ser I definitely gilligan's brew and cotton candy frosting not like super heavy scents to begin with serendipity is kind of like a fruity cherry um coconut-esque type scent cookie land's the only thing kind of grounding that last one christmas wishes in cookie land christmas wish the bath and body works type don't know what that is and cookie land Big ol' sampler. Ooh. So not expecting that. It's kind of like sweet Christmas tree, like um, marshmallow and Christmas tree. But also something else in there. I kind of like it. Don't know that I would like be dying to get more because it's a pretty big sample, but that's actually pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. That was a big freaking sampler. So I need to like go through that whole sampler, date them all and kind of organize like them into seasons. Um, love these fun bags though that they come in, they're so cute. So that was everything for my Rose Scrolls haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.